Hello guys, welcome to my channel. On today's video, I will share with you differences between layers and brawlers to enable you to make an informed decision based on your likeness, lifestyle, or financial capability. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. My name is Ezra Uncle Samuel from PoultryFarmGuide.com. On this channel, I give helpful tips and guides to enable you to set up your poultry farming business and scale it up. Welcome back. As I said earlier, I will share with you the differences between layers and boilers. At the end, you should be able to choose which one is more flexible and more profitable for you. So let's get down to business. Now, what is or what are layers and boilers? Layers and boilers chickens are chickens produced specifically for eggs and meat production. Now, before you choose anyone, you have to consider some factors like marketing, startup costs medication and vaccination and long-term and short-term revenue etc so let's start with the feeding the feeding in layers is more calculative and more specific some certain ingredient is needed for a better performance any mistake made at any point will be very detrimental to your to egg production although the materials or the raw materials are more cheaper compared to boilers but the formulation requires an expert. Now, when it comes to broilers, the feed is more richer, contains a lot of vitamin and high in protein. So, the bird can attain the maximum weight at a very short time. Remember, broilers grow very, very fast. They are eating machine. They are created to grow very fast. Within six weeks, you'll be getting a bat. 2.1 to 2.5 kg within six weeks. A perfect marketable size for broiler. The formulation can, doesn't require more expertise to formulate when uh, compared to layers. Then we come to the startup cost. For broilers, you can start with 10, 20 beds with little uh, equipment around your house, your backyard, and you still going to make a lot of profit from it. It requires just few draws and vaccination when compared to layers. While in layers, you have to save up about for 200 beds. You don't start with little numbers because the, in egg production, it's a game of number. At minimum, hold them 200 chicks to able to make a appreciable profit. So the startup cost for layers is much when compared to broilers because the layers we have to eat for about 121 days before they will start laying. They will start laying about 18 to 20 weeks of age. That's when you start seeing something, egg, for your chicken. So you have to save for feed, which is about the 80% of, uh, of production, medication, vaccination, and, and then general poultry house maintenance. So when it comes to startup cost, layer is very, very high when it comes to startup costs. Then the other one we are going to look again is marketing. Marketing. I'm I'm very serious about marketing when it comes to uh, when it comes to poultry farming. What is production if you can't market your chicken? So the first thing, thing both of them, the broilers, the market is more rigorous because the birds grow very fast. Between six weeks, six weeks to eight weeks, your bird have reached age of slaughtering so you start looking for customer immediately from day one you bring in the beds you start looking for customers that will buy it before it gets to that will buy it at maturity because when you wait until your bed gets to maturity before you start looking for customers or buyers it will harm your profitability they will start feeding on their profit because as the beds as broiler ages their growth decreases. I've made a video for that. The reason why I sell my bread within six to eight weeks. You can check it up here. So you have to look for boiler uh, for buyers before production. You have to look for you have to market before production when it comes to rollers. Then in layers, it's more flexible. Air can be kept between three weeks to a month. You can comfortably look for a better buyer that will give you good money for your products. So there's no rush in marketing when you, when you compare it with a uh, broiler, which is more rigorous. Then 
The next thing we are going to look at again is the, ma uh, the management. The management of uh, broilers is uh, quite easy. All you just need to do is to provide a good shelter that is airy, ventilation, a lot of ventilation, give them a lot of water, give them food, and a bit done, make sure the food is there day and night, at least for the first two weeks or three weeks before you start planning feed control method to avoid uh, slumping, sudden death syndrome, paralysis, or uh, overweight. So that is what you just have to take care of. You have to make sure the temperature, the space is all right for the bed. You keep the litter very clean to avoid um, getting infested by disease. Huh. That is for broilers. And within six weeks, you are, you are done with that. You start selling off. Okay? Then when it comes to layers, maintenance and management have to go a very long way. It's a rigorous process. You have to make sure the water lines you are using, um, battery cage, make sure the water line is running, you have constant water, and the space is all right to avoid cannibalism. The number of feeder is okay to avoid, you know, bullying and eating one another. This is a bad vice in layers to eat one another, and you have to depict the bed as well to avoid cannibalism. Dead eating one another. There should be a lot of light. There's a specific amount of light that is needed for chicken to produce egg. Within 16 hours to 18 hours of light is needed on a daily basis for your chicken to actually do well, for your layers to actually lay very well. So that is that for briefly for management. You also have to keep bar security very tight because any disease that gets into the laying house, you, you are going to suffer for a long You can't recover. It is very difficult to recover when disease affects, when they get infested by disease in the layers. Uh, in, in layers. The next one we're talking about is health, disease, medication, and vaccination. When it gets to, when it comes to broilers, the medication, the vaccination is just within some weeks. Give within some weeks, they are done with vaccination and medication. Then in layers, in layers, the medication will span from, from the one till the end of laying cycle. You have to keep on giving vaccination, drugs, vitamin, uh, because they, as bed ages, they get more exposed to diseases. So you have to keep on giving them vaccination and uh, medication to prevent and treat this layers chicken. Because if you don't do that, when they fall sick, when the lay, when the when layers fall sick, it is very difficult for you to recover because you have to treat them for them to start laying again. You can't set them off. But for broilers, when they fall sick, when they, within third week, you can start treating them and separate the sick ones. Then you can easily set off the mature one at a six week. So it is easier for you to recover and treat uh, broilers and recover quick in case of any disaster when compared to, to layers. Layers, you have to keep, you can take a year for you to recover from layers if any uh, disaster happens in the farm. So the, the health, the, the bar security have to be very tight in layers. You don't allow visitors to enter your farm anyhow. You don't, don't give any chance, any chance for uh, disease contaminating your chicken because as I will always say, prevention is always, always better than cure. So your bar security have to be top notch because once you enter, it becomes a very big problem. Now come to long and short term revenue. For brothers, you get your return of investment very fast. Beginners in poultry farmer normally start with brothers because they have to try within a very short time. If you're a beginner in broilers, it's not advisable to start with layers. You start with broilers because within a very short time, you set off. If you have any problem, you can recover easily. Okay, so in broilers, your ROI, return of investment, is very fast and it's a short term gain. Why in layers, although you have to wait for a very long time before your bed start laying, but when they start laying between 20 to 22 weeks, you start milling at cap every day because every day is just merriment because you will be collecting 
egg from your poultry farm on a daily basis. For more than a year plus, you'll be collecting egg and it's more sustainable. Okay? So that is for short term and long term gain or revenue when it comes to layers and then broilers. So have any question based on this, leave it on the comment box below. Um, if this is the first time of visiting my channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so to be notified whenever I release my next video.